Nationwide school shootings have parents on edge. Everyone wants to know how can we keep our kids safe? Well, first at four, our Caitlin McCarthy talked to a mom who has some ideas to protect our students. But we're talking about kids here. They don't know how to run, hide, and fight. They go to school to get an education. They shouldn't have to go to school and be trained to fight for their lives. Amanda Kulko holds her son a little closer whenever she sees another school shooting. It's a worry that's become a reality for far too many families. So she's doing what she can for a kid's school district. She's hoping to raise money to add more security measures at Cuyahoga Falls schools. That's where the community needs to come together for that because they can't do it by themselves, but they're trying their best to do as much as they can with the money that they have. Her son will be starting kindergarten here at Silver Lake Elementary in the fall. In light of recent mass shootings inside schools, she worries her son could be the next victim. So she hopes the school district steps up to prevent another tragedy. Tonight, she's going to the school board meeting. She says safety officers in every school and bulletproof film on windows can be some ways to protect students. I want us to put a budget together and I want them to let me know how much do we need to work together as a city with parents and taxpayers and business owners and how much do we have to raise to make sure we have this for each school. Coolco says other parents support having a fundraiser so everyone can have peace of mind. For now, she's going to do what any parent would do to keep their child safe. My son's about to start kindergarten and I'm looking up bulletproof inserts for his backpack. Why? Something no parent should have to think about. In Cuyahoga Falls, Caitlin McCarthy, 19 News.